I think it's time. Here we go. It's We're happening. going in. So tomorrow I go see the Mona Lisa. Can't really believe it's happening. It's been a whirlwind the past couple days, or I guess about almost 10 days now. I think I'm, I'm ready. The Mona Lisa is the biggest reminder of what I don't have. 10 years ago, I spent a week avoiding it. And now for me, standing in front of the Mona Lisa is the biggest reminder of how far I've come. I'm gonna feel that anxiety tomorrow and I'm gonna feel that stress and I'm gonna feel like I can't do it, but I know I can. This journey is about doing what I can't. I'm just grateful that like, that Samsung heard my idea and was willing to help support it because I couldn't have done this alone. And I'm so grateful that they picked the team they did and that I'm surrounded by my mom who was here with me on the first trip. Gallup, who was not here, he didn't even exist. He wasn't even born yet. And that I have you, Ben. <laughs> because I think so many people, uh, they just don't know even what it's what it's like, like they don't even have an idea. Which is part of like, what I, what I love about what I get to do is I get to help provide at least a bit of an insight. But so many people just will never know. They'll never understand, they'll never, until you're close to it, you don't know what it is. So I'm grateful I have you because your mom has the same disease as me, which Samsung didn't even know when they picked you to be the producer. And I'm happy I have Sam because he's put so much heart into this. I'm so grateful I have Alex. Like, without all of you, it wouldn't be the journey it is. And it just means a lot to have such incredible people supporting me and here with me to take a step that I didn't think I'd live to take. I know that if I can overcome this, I hope that everybody watching this feels like whatever their demon is, they can overcome it. Because I know this sounds so stupid, like going to stand in front of a painting that I still can't see. But it's so much more than that. It's facing what I don't have and being okay with it. And I'm more than okay with it. Everybody has like those moments in their life, um, getting their driver's license, which I never did. Graduating university, which I never did. Getting married, haven't done it yet, hopefully one day. Um, having kids, I just have my fur babies. Um, it's like everybody has those big moments in their life and for me, like, this is one of them. It is, like, this is 10 years of rehabilitation, of recovery, of working on myself, my mental state, my physical health, like every aspect of my life. If there's a way to celebrate this anniversary, 10 years of blindness, like this is it. It is. This is it for me, standing in front of a painting that I can't even see and being totally okay with it. It's taken a lot. It's taken so much from me. But it's given me so much. And what it's given me, I wouldn't trade for anything. I'm just happy to be me. I'm happy to be here. And I'm really ready to conquer a 10-year fear of the Mona Lisa. Good morning. Hi. Special day today. It is. I'm wearing my new jacket. I've got my new perfume on. I've got my Mona Lisa bag. I'm feeling 
I'm feeling ready and I feel the same way I did before I went skydiving. I just couldn't stop smiling and I just have that like, it's like a nervous excitement energy and I'm just freaking ready to do this. Like, I'm just like, yeah, let's go. This is the first time I've been back like here in this area. We walked through that like tunnel and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I remember this. Now I'm here and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna stand in front of the Mona Lisa and not see it and it's gonna be okay. The past 10 years has been a really, 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 really long journey of rehabilitation and recovery from vision loss, like learning literally how to function as a blind person in the world, recovering from my depression, dealing with overcoming my bullying, and learning to be comfortable and happy with the person that I am. This is the moment of being like, yeah, if I can stand in front of this Mona Lisa and be more than okay with the fact that I can't see it, I think it just shows how far I've come to not only myself, but to everybody that's in my life and who has walked this journey with me because there has been so many people who have helped contribute to get me where I am today. I couldn't have done it without all of those people and I wish they could all be here with me for this moment. But at the same time, I feel like there's something so special about me standing there on my own. I think for me, visual art, a painting, is the most tangible reminder of what I miss out on in the world. That's why for me, it's been so hard to get to a point where I felt comfortable. But now I'm okay. I'm, I'm ready to do it. It is a very special moment. Episode 10, it is the reason we are all here and hopefully the reason you've been watching this long. For me to conquer my fear, of the Mona Lisa, which sounds so stupid, but it's true. I think it's time. Here we go. It's We're okay. going in. Yeah, this guy is one point this morning. He's, 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 like, he's, <laughs> he's got this big smile on his face. Like he knows. He knows. Usually Gallup's quite somber and a little bit sassy. Sleepy. Today he's just like nearly dragging Molly. Yeah, he's just and, dragging. Uh, I'm feeling good. I mean, I want my mom to come in with me because mm. she was the only person here with me on that trip. I feel like out of all the paintings, like obviously there's so many paintings here, so you might be wondering why I like hyper focus on the Mona Lisa. But I feel like that's the one that like everybody just thinks of the most when they think of the Louvre. The moment. I like to think it closes this chapter of, of avoidance and of pain and of fear. Um, of what I don't have, opens up the next chapter of, you know, just moving forward and letting all of that go. And I, I feel like I've done a good job of that over the past 10 years, but this has been one of the only things that's been lingering. And so in doing this, I feel like that's the final puzzle piece to moving forward with the next 10 years of my journey. In this moment, I feel more at peace than anything else. I just feel like it's, it's finished. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> I didn't cry, she's gonna cry. Yes, I'm just gonna cry because I'm actually happy. And um, it's just lovely hearing Molly say all these wonderful things. And we're just so grateful for the life that Molly leads now. Yes, I'm so proud of her. It's wonderful. You know, Mom, it's very special to be doing this here with you 10 years later. Yeah. You were the only one with me on that trip, and here we are. So, we just got out of the Louvre, and that was pretty epic. I think we can all agree, like, they let me right up close to it. I don't know how we swung that, but that was amazing. It was Gallup. Probably true. Way to go, Gallup. I feel bad for all of the, like, hundreds of people standing behind me. <laughs> what an experience. And it's interesting, because now we're at this cafe that's 
if I could see, I would be able to see the Louvre from here. I can see it. Thanks, Mom. The last time we sat at this cafe, I almost went into the Louvre. I backed out last minute. Now I'm sitting here at this cafe, and I just got out of the Louvre. We've come full circle, and I feel really good about it. You shed a tear. I do. This one's not a crier. No. That's why I was like so shook. We just kind of live in the now as opposed to the past or the future. Enjoying every moment as much as we can, or being present in the moment as opposed to thinking too much about the past. The past 10 days, these past 10 episodes, forced us in a way to tap into those mm -hmm. emotions and yep. face it and confront it. It's been pretty magical. So amazing. What is... Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gallop! Gallop loves to be on the couch beside us and he just welcomed himself off. He wanted to be a part of this moment. Well, we have one more special moment to end this all off and I... A few more things to say, so... Louis Braille, let's go. So, I've just come from one iconic place in my journey to an iconic place for my entire community. Currently at the Pantheum, the resting place where Louis Braille, founding father of Braille, the language for the blind, is buried. And it just feels like the right place to end this 10-part series off because Louis Braille is somebody who empowered the blind community to access education and information and knowledge at a time when technology wasn't there for us. I just hope that I get to be that kind of person, um, not only to the blind community, but hopefully to all communities. Ten years ago when I visited Paris, I came here um, and honestly, like, I didn't care. I didn't care, I didn't have the respect, not just for Louis Braille, but I didn't have the respect for my community, because honestly it was a community I didn't really want to be a part of. I was angry, I was bitter, I had to go through that to become the person I am today. But it was also important to get up and, and realize that that was no way to live. I wanted my life to be more than that. I wanted to find meaning in what felt so meaningless. And I feel like I have, and I hope all of you watching this can feel that as well. I feel like 14-year-old Molly would be really proud of me and where I am right now. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to every single person who has walked this journey with me over the past 10 years, to every single one of you for walking this journey with me through the internet, to Samsung for empowering me to do this, to my crew, the amazing people who have been here filming these last 10 episodes with me. And I just wanna say to anybody who, who has ever felt like 14-year-old Molly did, um, you're gonna be more than okay you are going to live your best life. And I'm really excited for you. I love you, Molly. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for, for letting me be there with you. Thank you. Give me hugs. You're the best. It's been real. I'll see you in Australia. <laughs>